everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today's reading is going to be, will they change their mind? We're going to be looking at where they're, what, they're, what they're thinking. <laughs> what are they thinking? What are they feeling? Where are they coming from? Um, what's lying below everything? Is there something below the surface that's not been discussed? And the answer to the question. You've got three choices. You've got the coral haze, the Swedish blue and the yellow pantone. Okay, if you want to take your choice. <laughs> Okay, this person, the word I thought of when I was putting these cards out is nebulous. Your person seems as they could actually be Pisces, what I'm thinking here, or something quite watery. I'm not thinking Scorpio, or maybe, I don't know. It's somebody who's quite um, slippery or silent, one or the other. Because <laughs> Cancer and Scorpio can be quite silent, Pisces can be quite slippery, as in they are having lots of thoughts, lots of emotions, lots of... Um, intuitives, whatever that is, they are picking up information, they're trying somehow to organise it in their head. There's like a lot of swishing around of feelings and attraction, lots of people surrounded and the situation isn't there, to be honest. The, with the death card at the end, starting with the moon, to me it feels like confusion where a situation that has ended doesn't mean it's bad. It could be just somebody you're attracted to and vice versa. Nobody's quite sure. It's like people trying to pick up messages. It's like trying to... Um, it's like trying to talk to the dead in some way. It is honestly, it's trying to talk to somebody who's not there. But the attraction feels as if it's quite solid there with the Empress card here. And the Five of Wands, there may be other people involved. It doesn't feel like that third party feeling. It's more a case of a situation with lots of people around you. That type of feeling. The Five of Wands there feels like... It doesn't have to just be people, I suppose. Five of Wands, I always interpret, especially with this pack, as lots of people involved, where it's difficult to show your affection, you're not quite sure whether you stand out or vice versa, or it could be just um, too many things between you. You know, like too many activities, too many um, situations between you that, and I suppose what I mean in the past, you know, that have got in the way in the past. Busy lies is what I'm thinking here. Attraction, busy lives, confusion, and it not being there. So what are their thoughts and feelings? Let's have a look. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is interesting because for their thoughts, you've got the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands under the Empress. So that gives me a feeling of somebody who is not only physically attracted to you, but there's a feeling of an emotional pull. It's like somebody who wants to love you, somebody who wants to share their time with you, somebody who wants to share their heart with you. But the Nine of Wands, especially by the Five of Wands here, it may be a feeling of possible, possible... Um, Oh, the word I'm thinking here is retraction, like retracting their emotion in some way, so not to show it, not to make a fool of themselves, because they're not sure where they stand with these sort of intuitive cards that the moon and psyche at the top. With regards to their feelings, the temperance and the fool, temperance and the fool make me think of journeys, it makes me think of travel, makes me think of excitement, it makes me think of movement. So under the death card, it's like this person wants to get things moving, this person has got a draw towards you, and it's like the temperance and the fool card are major arcana kind of there with regards to feelings. This feelings feel like actions. This person wants to make action. The temperance, you could say, 
is possibly, you know, weighing up doing nothing, basically one foot in the mud, one foot in the sea. But with this connects the fall, it makes me think that your person wants to actually make a journey towards you. So I don't know with a death card here, whether there's some sort of water involved, like separation by water, or you just live far apart, or you just haven't seen each other for a long time. It's funny how the thoughts pile has the cup card and the feelings pile has the movement cards. Sagittarius to me just makes me think of abroad or makes me think of next to the fall makes me think of traveling and journeys but that may be just me to be honest because that's what I think of all day. Lots between this pile, lots of emotions, lots of things left um, unuttered in some way. It's like you're both feeling it. it's it's nebulous it is nebulous it's like this person has a mo this attraction is there with the empress and the king of cups but it's not like an attraction like a pluto attraction it's like that venus attraction where you look good you know when somebody when you walk into the their, you know somebody's life and you're wearing the clothes that their ideal man or woman would be wearing and you're walking like that ideal man or woman and the way that you speak is like their ideal man or woman everybody's got a particular type and it's normally a mishmash of i don't know parents grandparents films it's just a mishmash of everything a mishmash of vibration and then this you walk into their life and it's like yeah you hit the nail on the head but there's difficulty, the separation, and I guess there's confusion with regards to, it doesn't feel like two people haven't expressed themselves. This one feels more like two people that are watching each other and not prepared to unearth their feelings in some way. Is that dramatic? I hope so. And distance, this feels like a lot of distance. If it's not actually physical distance, it's distance between actually it does feel like as if you haven't spoken to each other that much. It feels like you need to say something. No, actually take that back. Oh, somebody said something that was triggering. No, don't say anything. It feels like... It's not a need to do anything because this is that your person. It just feels as if... These are action orientated and all this is dreamy. So it feels like this person wants to move, yet to me it feels as if not a lot has been said. It feels like fantasising. It feels like, you know, proper, beautiful fantasising rather than horny fantasising. It just feels like somebody who sees somebody in the street and, oh, that looks like so-and-so, and it's not you. It's like, that, oh, it's not them. That type of feeling rather than, I'm not going to go with my, um, what I'm thinking there. Okay, so next one what's going on <clears throat> it just feels like somebody they can't have to me, this reading feels like somebody who has got themselves, it possibly could be somebody very watery who does think with their heart and perhaps is not very realistic about what they can have or what they can do. Because this feels like attraction. This feels like a relationship that isn't there or you're not a couple. It feels like this person wants to come towards you, um, but they're seeing you almost out of reach in some way. It's the type of person where... As soon as they start thinking about you, they think, well, I can't have her or I can't have him anyway. It just feels as if there's distance there and it feels like you can't grab it. You can't quite grasp the situation. You can't quite grasp the person. It's like trying to catch mist in your hands. And I wonder whether you're both quite similar. I think that you're probably more, got more on for more fry than them. They come across as being sentimental possibly um less grounded but in a lovely way less more, less grounded but with a lot of heart and i see couples like this there's a couple that come around um to stay here one's uh the guy's pisces he surfs and he looks after the little girl uh, mum's capricorn she goes to work and she comes home and says you've done nothing and he's like oh no i have i've got i've got i don't know mashed potato in it's that type of feeling your guy feels like or your woman the one person you ask about feels like mashed potato person you feel like the person that's all together and wondering and why haven't they made a move and they're like well i just like you you just look good you smell good i fancy you that type of thing 
Let's go. Whatever this person needs to change their mind about is confusing because they're coming up as being um, not really grabbing the ball by the horns and then they want to move. It's like they daydream about moving. They see you as being quite forward moving and then it gets to the last pile here which is basically answer answering will they change their mind and it just feels like a lot of distance again and a lot of trying to weigh up the situation so i just still doesn't feel like it's moving it feels like there's some sort of separation here there's some distance between you this person thinks about you all the time this person has a really really strong emotional connection with you or they feel that they do but they're almost like watching and waiting as if they're waiting for you to take the lead because you're coming across here as the queen of wands and when they think about you the sadness the sadness I guess for not getting closer to you. This person wants to travel towards you for some reason, but the justice card here, it almost feels like the thoughts and their feelings are moving. Their feelings more moving. If their feelings are brave, the actions are weighing them up again. It's like just sitting there and waiting. I think they think that you've moved on or that you're not interested. So it's a strange one, this one, because they're the question is, will they change their mind? So I'm assuming there's some sort of relationship here because they've got to change their mind about something. But to me, this feels like a crush because this feels like not that much has happened up here. There's just attraction and a situation where neither of you really know where it's going. And then down here, it's like it feels as if this person wants to make a move. But with these very sort of soft cards up here and these very brave cards down here, I feel like they haven't got the guts to do or they want to know where they stand before they do it. But they see you as being rather gutsy. And when the, there's a feeling here of when they're thinking about that situation, as in like their personality compared to your personality, as I said, surfing person, working lady, doesn't have to be that, you know, you switch it, it doesn't have to be somebody who serves, doesn't have to be a man, you know, it doesn't really matter either way, does it? But the um, next to the minor swords, that causes them, I think, some sort of upset. It's like they see you as being the braver person. Your person seems more timid than you in some way. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if it was your person coming to the tarot reading to find out because with the moon and psyche there it's like they use their intuition or they use what they think is their insight or they use their feelings as guidance and their feelings here are probably straighter than their thoughts this person feels watery run by emotions but so much so that they are going to keep, for the near future, going to keep the distance, not because they want to keep the distance, they think, because you're coming up as the Queen of Wands here, and then you've got down here, next the Justice card, the Nine of Pentacles. To me, there's a feeling of independence about you, where the Justice card, in, excuse me, the Justice card in between there, so they're trying to balance it, they're trying to understand what part they play in your life, because I guess you look busy, that you, that you don't need them, and they're like, I know people, I have met people like this in my life. Um, I'm thinking maybe men, to be honest. Very soft, very gentle, very sweet nature, watching, waiting and wondering and feeling that they may, they may get bruised. And you may be, you know, your heart might may be in it, but I wonder whether your actions come across as if you're not interested. Because this person is weighing up, weighing up. So they're going to change their mind about something. Whatever it is, it's still in the process and they're not, you're not going to see it. They want to, but I don't think you're going to see it. There's so many cards here of what I guess quite a timid personality with regards to moving forward. Um, but their feelings are all in. Their actions aren't. And I don't know why apart from what I'm picking up with regards to differences in personalities. That may be an issue, actually, to be honest, because that's quite a strong feeling. It's like an admiration for you. It's like, you know, you're the type of person that when they, you 
when they think about you, it's almost like you've got it all. It's like you, you, they probably imagine you having beautiful house, beautiful girlfriend, beautiful boyfriend, that type of thing. It's almost like they put you a little bit higher than, you, you know, than most people can actually pull off. And maybe suffering in self-confidence in some way. Because the moon and psyche up here is making me think of like creative people. It doesn't really matter what they're creating, but oftentimes you get so many people who are very creative or very artistic and they can't actually put themselves out there. And, let, and then you get people who have got fire in them make the best artists because people actually see their stuff the moon the psych the psyche type people keep it all to themselves because they're too shy or too timid to show people what they can do so this is i don't know whether your person is an artist or whether they're quite creative in some way but it just feels of somebody who is lost in their own inner world and looking for you to possibly make a move because I feel there's distance here and you're coming across as probably the more um, the stronger personality and the situation feels I was going to say in flux though it just feels as if there's going to be no changings of minds in the near future but there's definitely a strong pull and strong emotions towards you and this person I think just has strong emotions anyway very sweet feeling of strong emotions it's not platonic it's not that feeling where to have and to hold it's like he or she's gorgeous you know it's that type of attraction where there's admiration there and almost putting themselves below you in some way right I'm going to leave that there pile number one I hope that helps bye Okay, part number two, there's a feeling here this person may be somebody from your past, possibly with the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands here. Because the Six of Wands it looks always, I always think this looks like the Six of Pentacles because it looks like bees working. But the Six of Wands is confidence and victory and shining and feeling your best. And you've got the Six of Cups here in the centre, which is like a connection probably with history. And the Queen of Cups is some sort of emotional connection. And the Knight of Wands, to me, is making me feel that you may have spent time or activities together. It feels like somebody you could have been on holiday with or been in a group with or been in school with or something quite nostalgic here that was fun. You've got the Psyche card here that possibly could mean that you may not even know this person's attraction towards you or you may have an inkling of it to be here anyway. But it's like things left unsaid. Again, a bit like pile number one. Things left unsaid. Um, strong emotions. Strong with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. A strong emotional pull. Uh, where you feel this person feels comfortable with you and you make this person feel good. With the Six of Wands here as well, it could almost feel with the Knight of Wands too. Like um, a Jupiter, Venus, Jupiter, Moon conjunction type of feeling where you make the other person feel good just by being there. And oftentimes you find with these connections with Jupiter, Moon, Jupiter, Venus, that there's some way that when you are together, things flow easy and life feels better. You know, you have more money or there's more, there's just more, 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 bigger, bigger Jupiter. It just feels like that because the King of Wands, sorry, the Knight of Wands here, more action, more fun, more play, more money, more, I don't know what, more of everything. Nice, nice feeling. This person feels nice. So what do they need to change their mind about? I don't quite know yet. Let's have a look at their thoughts. And that's not using this one. Okay, this may be like a friendship or a connection with things left unsaid because here you've got, you possibly could be together, maybe there's distance. I don't know why I say be together is you've got the Ace of Pentacles here. You know, it could be a new work situation. No, I don't know. 
lot of different thoughts are going through my head at the moment because I'm seeing here like emotional connection with some nostalgic feeling or past connection here that you've known this person for a while or somebody from your childhood who's come back, somebody you work with who's coming back in. And then you've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Maybe they are... You know, like you're going back to work with them or you're going into a job and then there or it's some sort of new fertile opening <laughs> oh no no it's like some sort of something new beginning after watching and waiting and wondering so their thoughts are i'm thinking they were manipulative here in the best possible way it's like somebody who's organizing something to get closer to you and actually making it work it's like somebody where you, the connection has been there and you're actually trying to get closer to them or they're trying to get closer to you and then you almost get back together again. Okay, don't know yet. Let me keep going. Their feelings are, I'm not telling them what I'm feeling. I'm hiding it all because it's quite intense. It's like somebody who's got a crush on you. Somebody who thinks about you and is trying to be a lady or a gentleman about their feelings and look as if they're quite dignified so somebody who tries to come across as if they don't fancy when they're talking to you that type of feeling but they've almost manipulated the situation to turn up where you are with these two cards together the two of wands is like thinking about movement and the ace of pentacles is making something concrete happen it's at the beginning it's like somebody who makes sure they are driving past you at a certain time or somebody who makes sure that they turn up in your work situation by accident happy <laughs> accident because you've known them for a while. So I don't know what they're going to change their mind about yet. Let me keep going. Let me use these ones. Okay, what they're going to change their mind about, somebody snuck off. Somebody hasn't played fairly, maybe. Somebody is being quite indecisive, um, which may be them if they've got to change their mind about something. If this person has, I'm, I don't use the word ghosted. I'm not really good with these terms that, you know, people like, I don't often use like, um, I'm going to say team spirit though. I don't, see, I, don't, I don't even use it. I don't even know what it is. Twin flames, twin flames, team spirit. Yeah, team spirit. I don't use those sort of words because I just, I don't know why I just don't use them. But this to me feels like ghosted. So they're going to change their mind. It feels like somebody who's drawn to you, somebody who's had a big attraction to you, somebody who likes to cross paths with you, but is almost trying to look as if they're not bothered. It feels like somebody who's trying to, it's somebody who's very proud. Six of Wands and the Strength card next to the Suspended one, which is that lot of thinking, no action card. Uh, yeah, this person, it feels as if they've got a strong ego that doesn't like to be turned down, to be honest. And are they going to change their mind? It feels like they've pulled out through what I guess is a fragile ego and they're trying to balance themselves. This to me feels like somebody who gets a little bit um, discombobulated when they're around you and doesn't like it. And is you're wondering whether they're going to come back and they don't want to be put into the feeling or the situation where they feel slightly out of control of themselves. This person could be quite nervous, but this person's very proud. This person could be quite sensitive as well with the Psyche card here. Because if you're getting the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups here, it feels as if with the Psyche, Queen of Cups, Six of Cups, your person may come across as confident. The Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands, your person may come across as, and they may walk as if they're, got that high chatty to cha cha you know that sort of swagger feeling about them. But there's somebody who could be like fire rising, Pisces moon or cancer somewhere in there which is quite protective or quite sensitive what they're trying to do is manipulate the situation to almost get back into your life without looking like they're getting back into your life you've got the hangman and the strength card here it's like feelings desires tempered in some way and then I'm asking what's going on below the surface. I've got sneaky action, which made me think of the word ghosted. I'm so proud of myself when I think of a word that people use. 
and trying to find a situation that makes them feel balanced because there's lots of juggling on either side of that um, card here. So I'm picking up pride here, I'm picking up sensitivity, I'm picking up emotional connection, I'm picking up somebody who's trying to get things started but keeping themselves intact with this one. So what they're going to change their mind about, actually I'm guessing coming towards you again or coming towards you and revealing their feelings. Don't know, it's something where they've snuck out and that's the personality I'm picking up. Let's go to the last one. This is quite sweet. This is like somebody who is trying to be really brave, but actually being the bravest of all and actually using their heart rather than trying to use their mind. It's like somebody who offers you something and it's coming from the sweetest, kindest, most queen of cups, six of cups place in them. It's like somebody who offers you a little bit of their heart. It's quite romantic. Oh, bless. It's got a really sweet feeling to it. It's like somebody who almost it's like a dog when they roll onto their back and they show you their white underbelly so it feels like whatever they're going to change their mind about it's as if they soften a bit it's as if they almost prepare to take an ego battering to move forward with the situation here with this to actually open themselves up to whatever they need to change their mind about only you will know but it does honestly, a picture I would get in my head of an animal like a lion that's very proud, prowling through the jungle, trying to look that they're not noticing lionesses behind bushes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and then not saying anything, just like, oh yeah, I can see that lioness. And it's a feeling like one of you may have taken a different path somewhere along this track and trying to look really cool and are they going to come back? I don't know what the path is, whether it's been a discussion or a conversation or just paths have moved apart through what not wanting to show too much, being too proud. And this person almost like if it was like a picture would be them purposely trying to make sure they weave through the woods to find you and then rolling and showing their white underbelly in a very sort of sweet, innocent way. It is like, you know, to me this is really brave. I think I've got a bit of soft feelings towards your person here. It feels like Leo Cancer type of feeling, somebody who's soft but has, you know, has a strong need to maintain control, but still very warm. Maybe a connection of the past with the Six of Cups there that I said earlier. And this person possibly has been trying to weave their way through the woods to you before and you may have shunned them. It's the type of card, you know, type of card you get where they've actually waved at you and you haven't seen them and they've like gone home and thought, Jesus. Strike that off if um, we put another name in there. But it is that type of feeling where they thought, oh Lord, no. I made a fool of myself. I'm not going to do that again. So it could be as simple as that. It couldn't be more. But this person feels like they're going to have another crack at it. So if the changing their mind feels like anything like this, it feels like they're going to come and almost be gentle and kind. And to me, it also feels as if that's going to quite shock you in some way. Because you may be just getting the six of wands and the knight of of ones here, you know, that sort of proud, pride, um, strutty, sexy person. And you may sense the cups, you know, the six of cups, the queen of cups, you may sense gentleness because you could have, you may have seen it with other people. And the psyche there as well. It's really funny, isn't it? You know, when you try and, you, you try and pick up people's personalities. Um, this is really interesting on the way into work yesterday. My husband, who's about 140, puts on um, Radio 2 and I don't bother changing it in the car. Sometimes I just listen to it. I don't actually like it, but I do listen to it. And there was this guy, oh, it actually could have been Radio 1, to be honest. I think I might have switched it. And he was saying, which I found really interesting, how he picks up people's personalities. And he said that he can tell, because he was in the forces, I think he was in the Marines for 10 years, I think he said, that he can... Um, 
pick up whether somebody else has been in the forces really quickly by the words that they choose and the way that they move and the way that they stand. And I've got another friend, I've got two friends, who says the same. Well, her best friend says the same because her husband's in the forces as well. And he gave example of a couple of words. Um, and it's the same with people's energy, isn't it? You know, you can sit there and if you're interested in astrology at all, which to me is the most important reason to be interested in astrology or tarot cards, it's for you to see patterns and to understand people and have more tolerance. It's less for looking forward into the future. That's part of it. But you've always got to remember that there isn't a future until you've made it. You can be humping your energy into one direction and it'd be very difficult to change track, but you're, you know, you've got to be aware of where you're going. I did write a newsletter about this. <laughs> oh my God. My sister read, my sister checked it for my spellings and all this, and it's probably still in there because they're probably as bad as me. And it was like, oh my God, you write like a Pisces, they said to me. I haven't got any Pisces in me. I have Neptune conjunct my MC, but I'm, anyway. They were saying, that's the way you're right. What was I saying? I have no idea. It was picking up energy. Oh yeah, and this guy was also saying that he could tell who had a Northern accent as well. Oh, well, where, you know, pinpoint it to a particular place, like a town somewhere in, in, north, in the north of England, which is really hard to do. And it wasn't just like a Manchester accent, it was like, you're from Bolton, which to me, that is clever. And I love that type of thing. You know, on, I've got on YouTube, you know, those observe channels where you, they're looking at people, the way that people move and the way that they, you know, their eye contact and how, you know, situations normally like trials. I love it. I don't know why. I love it. Um, well, what was I saying? So I'm wondering whether your person, instrument amongst all this is quite, I'm going to say rambunctious, don't mean it, um, is quite solid and there and confident and in control and people look at them for advice or people look at them and think yeah they're all together but underneath they have got antennae they are putting their antennae out and they can feel situations here it's because a combination as i said of cancer and leo somebody that can read situations reads people it could be even virgo as well virgo are very perceptive you sit next to Virgos, I was saying this as well in a reading the other day, you sit next to Virgos um, and they want to face the crowd. You're having a meal with a Virgo, they want to see what's going on and they're actually perceiving every little detail. They notice everything. I used to sit on the beach with Virgo people, <laughs> Virgo people, just Virgos, nobody else. And they always make sure that they're facing the crowd to, you know, and they're all, they comment as well, they comment. Some people may like it, some people don't like it, but to me, I'm just listening and sucking in information. Your person, I think, is doing the same. They're trying to manipulate the circumstance, and I think they have done this in the past as well, to make sure that you're cross paths, but try not to show too emotion, and it's got nowhere. It feels as if it's almost like um, tripped them up or tripped you both up in some way. They've gone away to lick their wounds very much the strength card. I'm going with the lion still here. They've gone away to lick their wounds and um, I'm going to come back and basically roll over. And I don't mean like roll over in the clover, but roll, what am I talking about? But roll over and show their sweet soft parts. <laughs> They're white underbelly is what I mean. I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, right, well, thank you very much, power number one. I'm going to go and leave you with that. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>
but you've got difficult cards by all this you've got the two of swords which is to me makes me feel stuck and you've got an argument that's happened so this to me feels like could even be married to this person as well the ten of pentacles here and the king of cups this could be a relationship from the past and You've, oh, it could be a proper argument. The first two powers I didn't really get up, get this feeling, <laughs> get up out of bed. The first two powers I wasn't quite sure it was that the situation, but this feels like a relationship that um, has had a hiccup. The other two wasn't sure, and it's difficult to answer a question. Will they change their mind? I'm not sure what's going on, but this feels like you've probably probably had some sort of showdown with, I guess, a very established or very protective or very authoritarian person who... And I was another reading I was saying with Venus there has that Libra feeling of somebody who's very easygoing until they're nudged too far and then they cut off. Libra's a funny one like that because they... You know, I often think Libras get called people pleasers, which they do. Um, my sister um, walked out of her job the other day. My younger, younger sister. I don't know if I should be talking about this. Anyway, the thing that most concerned her because they were surprised that she did it because they said that she always come, comes across as quite sweet was that she didn't want to look like she was a people pleaser. Um, and I do think Libras sometimes can come across as people pleasers, um, but I don't think many people notice that because they like everything to be balanced and fair, that they're pushed so far and then they come back to get you. There's quite a tough bit about Libras and they're cardinal, you know, they basically, they like to call the shots. So Libras aren't quite as squishy as they look. And I think your person may be soft, may be gentle, may be in a position where they can't actually back down too much, may be in a difficult position, may be married, as I've just said. And there's been some sort of argument and both of you are waiting to see what's going to happen next, I guess. Let's have a little bit more of a nose. Okay, I'm just getting a feeling here that this life, this person's life is quite balanced or stayed or steady because you've got the um, four of wands and the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Oh, sorry, I can't read. The ten of pentacles up here and this is their thoughts. To me, this person is solid. It makes me feel that people rely on this person. I don't know why, it's just a feeling of somebody that has to put on a persona of being in control and their feelings towards you are that it's ended through some sort of argument, I guess, some sort of conflict, some sort of being overprotective, some sort of almost like that's the end of it. You know, I've, I've said my piece and I've counted to 10 type of feeling here. Strong, strong pack. Let's have a look a little bit more. What is going on below the surface here? This person, male or female, um, is trying to protect their position in some way. So I'm not really sure about the question yet, will they change their mind? I'm just trying to get an inkling of what's going on here. There's been some tears. There's a lot of trying to protect egos, trying to protect what they've built, the King of Pentacles. And I wonder if there's been some scrabbling in the past as well of trying to juggle things together with this card here. The Magician and the Two of... Two of swords there I wonder whether they've tried to make things work 
and it's been difficult and they've almost, you know, it's, it's blown up in their face in some way. I need to put the, I can't really talk until I've actually put the last few cards out. Let me use these again. No, I don't want to use those. Let me use these ones. So what is the answer? Will they change their mind? There's a, hmm, this is a difficult one. You've got the Queen of Pentacles over the King of Pentacles, and then you've got the Four of Pentacles here next to the Magician, but you've got the Fool card first. So this person is prepared to change their mind, but only <laughs> with stipulations, only if you're more like them. And I don't know if this makes sense to you because you've got two Pentacle cards and you've got lots of Pentacles, and I'm trying to say it quite a mature feeling here. Somebody who likes things under control. This isn't somebody who likes show. This isn't somebody who wants flash. This is somebody who doesn't want sex in public. This is somebody who wants stability and wants things to be, why do I say sex in public? I don't know why. It's just, you know, you get that feeling of somebody that's young and is in for the fun of it. This person wants somebody solid and wants somebody there. And you've got to play that part for them to be able to change their mind on something. Does this make sense? to you the full card is wanting to make a change actually no it is actually making a change it's not just wanting is it the full card is out of all the cards initiation isn't it as in like in the true sense of the word of move you know initiating something is that right i don't know initiating something yeah initiation It's getting things started, is this. It does also feel as well as if the ball's in their court. If they're coming across as the fall and jumping through the hoop, which is basically, you know, coming down to earth, making things happen, manipulating circumstances. You've got the magician there, you know, which comes after the fall of making things a become a reality. You've got the ace of pentacles here. It feels like it's all in their court to get things moving. This person feels as if they hold the power of Shira. Or is it the power of grace, girl? It does, honestly. I have the power. Powerful person. And I don't know whether, you know, they could be very small, look very timid, but they know that the ball is in their court here and they're waiting for you to play their game. Now, don't, this sounds awful, but I don't think it is. I just think it's the way this person, you almost expect the emperor card to come up here. Um, steady, stayed, um, has an idea of how this is going to function and if it doesn't function and you can't be like them, um, it's going to be difficult. It doesn't seem like they are saying, so I know the Emperor card has just been discussed, it doesn't feel like they're pushing their opinion on you, it's just a case of that's the only way it can work. You know, there could be people watching, there could be a situation that calls for certain circumstances and they're expecting them to play the King of Pentacles, you to play the Queen of Pentacles. And you've got the Magician card here, which is, you know, things get moving, I can do anything I want with the Four of Pentacles there, but I'm not going to do it. So are they going to change their mind? There is a huge possibility they'll change their mind, but you've got to be able or ready to play the part that they, that you know they think you need to play to keep it moving. So, because it starts off well and then goes into steady, steady, steady. I can keep playing with this, but I, I may not unless you end up being my partner in crime, whatever the crime is. You know, what does this person want from you? I don't know. So the answer to the question is really, will they change their mind? Yes, but it's got and conditions to it, this one. There's a stubborn feeling in this pack. This feels like arguments. It feels like somebody who's either in a position where they can't actually change too much. You know, there is this feeling here of, it's got lots of different feelings here. It could be a relationship that has, you know, you've been, you could have been married and they want you to be the same person that you were when you're married. It could be somebody who's married to somebody else and um, is finding it difficult to move. And yes, they want to move towards you, but it's almost like, you know, if it doesn't run smoothly and we don't play, both play your part, it can end up retracting or going backwards a bit. 
lot, and I don't know if you can relate that to your circumstance, but that's what I'm picking up from this. Very attractive man, very attractive woman. Who has a very sort of fixed feeling about them. Fixed feeling like, um, you know, somebody who could go very quiet once you've argued because it feels like they need to... Somebody who doesn't want to air their dirty washing in public, but can also be quite stubborn and make you do the running in some way. It feels like that. It does feel stubborn. It does feel stubborn, this one here. Because I feel like there's been tears as well for some reason. Because I can see them, maybe that's the reason. Steadiness, um, conditions. Yes, they will change their mind, but it's almost a case of if you want that to keep running or you want is a situation that you want to keep moving, you, they want you to be more like them in some way. The way that they think or the way that they run their life, you've almost got to like fall into pace or fall slot into place in some way. So I don't know if this makes sense in any way. There's so many pentacle cards here that are coming through. It makes me think of family. It makes me think of finances. It makes me think of very steady state situations where things have to be just so. Quite practical situations. And it does almost feel like there's even, you know, the case here that your person may want to get married or the king and queen of pentacles there i need some cards for you because i need your personality in this one. Oh my gosh you may be more flighty than them and you may yeah i don't know actually you may be more flighty than them and not want to be settled down not want to be settled down yeah you very much could be there's a feeling here that there's part of you that clicks in exactly with their personality because you've got Saturn, Jupiter and the Fall here and they want to, you know, are they going to change their mind? The Fall, it's like they want to be more like you but they retract back to their own personality again once the situation settles down. You've got Saturn in there as well. So there may be something quite steady about you, quite pentacle-ish, yeah, I made that up, that draws them in and then when you get together and you start rubbing together and if you know what I mean, it's as if um, they get to sense a bit more of your fire and they're like, oh, you know, hold on, we can't go forward with this unless we end up being very steady with it. So I don't know what's going on here. I keep getting an image of two people. This may only apply to one or two. You know, somebody, they're married and you're not and you're quite fiery. They've got fire and moon and they're really attracted to you. You know, that type of feeling where there's a draw there and it still can't work unless unless you fall into line with their more practical side. But it is difficult to get working. This person wants to make it work with you. They can set, you know, you're fun. You're like the moon part. They're probably not getting somewhere else. You're like a fiery moon, I suppose, what I was thinking there. There's a part of them they're not expressing and you're that. And so they're drawn towards you so they check, yes, they will change their mind. It's like they change their mind because they want to be you. They want to express more themselves. But once you get together, it's more like they fall back into place with that other part of themselves that doesn't quite, it's not as easy to play that game for you. And there's a strong physical pull here that is more to do with, and it's, all the powers have been the same today. It's not, there's no, I love that plutonic feeling, but it hasn't got that. It's got a feeling of to cherish and to hold and attraction and sweetness from somebody who probably is already established in some way. And the, yeah, they'll change their mind, but this feels almost as if this person needs to change themselves as well for it to work. Okay, right, I'm gonna stop there, um, pile number three. I hope that makes sense, um, and I wish you all the best, bye-bye.